हेलो गाइस आज हम करने वाले हैं हिस्ट्री क्लास इलेवन चैप्टर नेम डिस्प्लेसिंग इंडिजिनियस पीपल्स के क्वेश्चन से चलिए स्टार्ट करते हैं क्वेश्चन वन से व्हाट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड बाय इंपेरियलिज्म नेम फ्यू कंट्रीज हु इंकरेज इंपेरियलिज्म आंसर व्हेन अ कंट्री इस्टेब्लिश इट्स इकोनॉमिक एंड पोलिटिकल कंट्रोल ओवर एनी अदर कंट्री इट इट इज नोन एज इंपेरियलिज्म द इंपेरियल कंट्रीज ट्राई टू मेंटेन इट्स स्ट्रिक्ट कंट्रोल ओवर द रिसोर्स ऑफ colonial countries the countries which encouraged the policy of imperialism were the following first great britain second spain third france fourth holland fifth poland question 2 discuss the physiographic features of the continent of north america answer the physiographic features of the continent of the north america first this content extends from arctic circle to the tropic of cancer from the pacific to the atlantic ocean second the rocky mountain chain is to the east of the great plains the great lakes and the great the valleys of the mississippi and the ohio and the appalachian mountains third the great lakes the valleys of mississippi and ohio and the great plains lie toward the east of the continent fourth mexico is situated towards its south question 3 what do you know about the earliest inhabitants of north america answer it is estimated that the earliest inhabitants of north america came from asia on a land bridge across the bering strait about 30000 year ago they moved towards the south during the ice age 10000 years ago the oldest artifact was found in america about 11000 years ago about 5000 year ago due to climatic stability population began to increase before the advent of europeans the native americans used to live along, live along the river valleys and produced crops such as maize and several kinds of vegetables question 4 how did the exchange of goods between the european traders traders and the native of north america proved beneficial for the europeans answer after arriving in north america the european traders came to know that the native people assembled regularly at the bank of the river mississippi with an objective of exchange of goods they exchange handicrafts and food items only those goods were exchanged which were not available in the particular region the european traders took part in the exchange of food items with an objective to boost their trade they gave items like blankets vessels and guns these items proved beneficial for the natives in one or another way before the advent of europeans the native were not familiar with the wine but the european made them addicted of wine it proved very beneficial for the europeans and succeeded in dictating their terms to natives question 5 what were the views of natives regarding trade and the europeans answer natives view regarding trade they had different views as compared to europeans the native considered exchange of gifts between friends as a social behavior but for the europeans it was just for profit making the european traders wanted to earn more money by selling items such as fish and fur the native were unable to understand why the european traders sometimes offered so much in lieu of exchange of goods and at other time they offered so little for the same they did not know anything about trade views of the europeans they remained unaware about the europeans for quite a long time in their folk tales they portrayed the white people either the european trader as greedy and foolish people question 6 discuss the view of washington irving regarding the natives answer washington irving was a famous american writer who personally got a chance to meet north america natives north american native according to him they lived with the white peoples and spoke less 
because they were unaware about their language when they gathered about gathered together they did not miss even a single chance to entertain themselves by mocking at a european the europeans on the other hand believed that the native respected them because they impressed the indians with their magnificence and glory but it was a fact that the european did not treat the native with the respect question 7 why did the european start to come and settle down in america during 19th century write any three reasons behind it answer the europeans started to came and settle down in america during 19th century the possible reasons behind it were the following first in france and britain the younger sons had no right to inherit inherit their father's property therefore they were eager to buy their own property and took keen interest to settle down in america second the farmers of germany italy and sweden had lost their land to big landlords now they wanted to own some land and migrated to the usa in search of pasture land third the people of poland also started migrating to america because here land was available to comparatively less rates the polish people were quite happy to work in prairie grasslands because it reminded them about the steps to their hometown it encouraged them to buy more land here question 8 how will you justify that the europeans and the natives of america had different perceptions regarding forest and agriculture answer both the europeans and the natives of america had different perceptions regarding forest and agriculture the european cleared the forest with iron tools to make it ready for agriculture doing so they wanted to increase the area under maize and other crops the native were surprised at their activities they never used to grow crops such as much as required for subsistence they never thought about growing crops to make profit they believed that forests are their source of strength and considered it to a sin to cut them in this way they had difficult perception perception regarding forest and agriculture question 9 discuss the methods adopted by european to displace the natives answer with the expansion of european settlement in america native were displaced from the region concerned the method adopted by the europeans to displace the native were the following first they used to inspire the native people to abandon those regions those regions second in case the natives refused to abandon those areas they were threatened third they had decided decide full acquired more land dhoka karke from the natives and force them out from here question 10 how did the european justify the displacement of native answer the european justified the displacement of natives by saying that they the natives did know the judicious use of their land they criticized them by calling them sluggish they were unaware about their crafts skills to produce goods for the markets native were also criticized on the ground that they were not interested in learning english and wearing western dresses so they deserved to die out while bison were killed on a large scale to clear prairies or farmland question 11 write on the following first the gold rush and the position of natives of in australia answer first the gold rush it was expected that there was a gold in america traces of gold were found in usa california in 1840s it only led to the gold rush a lot of europeans went to america in the expectation of making a quick fortune it also led to the building of railway lines throughout the continent thousands of chinese workers were also recruited 
second position of natives in australia in the late 18th century there were about 350 to 750 native communities each community had its own language most of communities resided the north either called torres straits islanders hence the word aborigines is not used to describe them as they migrated from different places and belong to other different race question 12 why did the relation between europeans and the native australia become strained answer captain cook a british sailor discovered australia in 77 1770 initially the relations between the europeans and the natives australians were cordial but it with the assassination of james cook by a native the relations between europeans and the native australians strained they adopted a hostile attitude towards them question 13 discuss the contribution of who stanner in understanding the culture of natives answer the europeans made no sincere efforts to understand the australian natives and their culture it was due to their hostile attitude towards the native in their book europeans to describe the achi- their achievement it was a projected that the natives had their had neither any indigenous culture nor had they any culture of their own in 1968 weh stener published his famous book named the great australian silence in it he encouraged the europeans to trace and understand the historical roots of the natives of australia it was indeed a commendable step question 14 what do you understand by terra nullius answer terra nullius means belonging island belonging to no one the government of australia always termed the land of australia terra nullius the right of natives were also undermined the terra nullius was legally invalid question 15 discuss the beginning of economic development in australia with the establishment of european colonies answer with the coming of europeans and establishment of their colonies in australia the process of economic development speeded up the europeans established larger sheep rearing farms they kept and reared the sheep merino they cleared forests for the development of agriculture production of wheat was encouraged and large wine yards were established to encourage the wine industry mining industry was also encouraged laid the foundation of prosperity of australia thank you